Hi Saints, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be listening to Apostle Gideon Odoma tackle the political class. There are two different clips on different subjects, so please watch to the end. In Nigeria currently, you see, there are all kinds of oppressions that are going on. And because we are in this election season, I cannot, I cannot talk to you without uh, uh, applying it to the current situation of our country. After the election, and people came up and said, you know what, let's do reconciliation. I hear now that Tinubu is trying to set up committee to do reconciliation. Right? That, I, I need you to know that that is, that is, that is probably greater insult than whatever insult we are currently dealing with as a nation. Why? Because those are the tools of oppressors. Those are the tools that oppressors use. This is how to victimize the victim so that you can turn around again and now say, you said people should come for reconciliation and they refuse and want to paint the people you are subjugating, you still want to pay them to paint them to be to paint them further, further black than you already painted them as losers that they are not. You see, it would not be oppression if somebody you don't like wins an election. It will pain you, but it's not oppression. Nobody is oppressing you. That's how democracy works, right? The reason why the current situation is so painful for many Nigerians is not because somebody lost. It's not because somebody won. It's because most Nigerians don't believe that the person who has been said to win is not the one who won. That is really where the pain is. And that is what is oppressive. When you have such a situation and you are trying to bring peace on top of it, that peace is a peace that is unknown to the God of peace. You, you cannot build a peaceful edifice on top of an injustice. That, that is to deepen the oppression. It's like back in the day. When there is a skirmish, when there is a crisis in town, and then people stand up and say, hey, then suddenly our government will arise and say, let there be no reprisal attacks. So you hear more of reprisal attacks than you hear of attack. It's a strategy of oppressors. It's how they deepen the pain of oppression. You cannot build a peaceful edifice on top of an injustice. Words on marble. I honestly cannot wait for politics to change in Nigeria, Sha. The gimmicks we use, the rhetoric we spout after we've played underhanded games, the victimization, the bloodshed. We cannot continue like this, Nigeria. Nope, we can. I hope and pray we see through the rubbish the political class has done for decades and refuse to be played anymore. Justice must win in Jesus' name. We refuse to build a peaceful edifice on top of this gross injustice. God forbid. All right, here's the second clip. So, on the side of the oppressed, there's power. And I'm telling you that that power comes in different form. Except that it does not come in the form of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verse 8. Acts 1, 8 says you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. It, this is not that kind of power. And I'll, ex I'll explain it to you. I I'm sure you know in scripture that a power is not always positive. Hello? Your post-election troubled minds are still not... There's still a lot of hangover. But don't worry. Your God reigns. And he will come and save you. Behold, I give you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. 
So, when we say that on the side of the oppressor, there was power. I'm trying to say that that power has different outlooks. Officially, at the bottom, it is spiritual in nature. It's spiritual in nature. Some of the things that happen around us, the, the, the people that are oppressing Nigeria, it's not muzzle, it's not muzzle power they are using. No. It's not even intellectual prowess. No. Several of them, many of them are not intellectually agile. They are, they are not, they are not bright. All you need to do to find out how bright they are is to attend the town hall. And you, 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 you. Things were so bad this last time that many of the people that wanted to, to rule, to govern us, ran away from a presidential debate. Are you with me? They, they ran. They would not come to talk to Nigerians and be interrogated by Nigerians. They avoided, they vehemently refused. So it's not the intellectual power that they're using. That's not the power, primarily. You know, when we keep recommending prayer as the way out of our dilemma as a nation, you get defeatist comments such as prayers are useless, let's have factories and job opportunities and things will change. Or other nations with great governments, did they have to pray as much as we are told we need to? Well, if you're in Nigeria and you know that politics is a spiritual game more than it is anything else. So please, let's not act brand new. If things are going to change, if we're going to establish those factories that won't run on generators and will not run into the ground before three years are up, if we're going to get the government we want, we will still need to push it on our knees. If last week, Saturday, showed us anything, it's that PVC is not the singular answer some Nigerians made it out to be. Like I have said since this election season began, to your PVC, add prayer. Prayer is and will always be the master key. Thanks for watching.